Now what is it? Oh no, I don't need this right now. Lois, I told you, you need to go through the shop for your orders. It's been almost two months now. Haven't you gotten your tab paid up yet? No, Paul. I don't need anything from you. I don't need any of that stuff anymore. Really? Did you go to rehab or something? <laughs> no, Paul. Rehab would only take care of one of my problems. There were a lot of other things I was doing, too. I've met someone. Oh, you have a new boyfriend. <laughs> no, I met someone who told me about Jesus. Unbelievable. Well, I'd call it more of a miracle, but yeah. God is so merciful to me. He sent this man to show me how much danger I was in, how much danger I put my daughter in by never teaching her about Jesus. Was this guy wearing kind of a vest thing and he had light hair? Yeah. Do you know him? I've seen him around. So, you're a Christian now? Yes, Paul, and Samantha too. It's incredible. So this guy gets you off chemicals and now you're saved? No, Paul. It's not about the chemicals. It's not about getting rid of a few bad habits. It's about not wanting to do anything sinful anymore. See, Paul, you can give up this bad thing or that bad thing. They're just symptoms. But the disease is a willingness to sin against God. And that was me. Boy, was I willing. And now? Now? Now that's the farthest thing from my mind. Believe me, I have a long way to go to become more like Jesus. But I don't want these sinful things anymore. I don't try to tell myself they're okay. I don't chase after them anymore. The change is immediate and dramatic. Yeah, I'd say so. Now all I care about is obeying God and setting a good example for Samantha. We read our Bible every night after dinner. We're both learning so much. And we pray together every night before bed. Paul, you just can't imagine what it's like. So your life is just perfect now? Well, I don't know about that. The Watchers have already paid us a visit. I think they saw us with Noah. That's the guy who told us about Jesus. And about a week after they showed up, I got fired from my job. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking the two things might be connected. They're trying to keep people from finding out about Jesus, you know? I couldn't even find a Bible at the bookstore. I had to have Noah get one for me. We have to keep it hidden. I don't know when the Watchers are coming back. This is amazing, Lois, but how? I don't really know how to explain it. I listened to the things that Noah read from the Bible. I hadn't heard these things before, but it was strange. They were familiar. Almost, well... I knew they were right. My conscience was screaming at me. Your conscience? Yes. God's word convicts us. We know we shouldn't do these things. I guess this is how God warns us. Uh oh Paul, I think I need to get out of here. Come by my house and we can talk some more. Paul, there are a lot of things going on. You're telling me. I think we're running out of time. Yeah, I keep hearing that. Paul! Paul, what have you done? What are you talking about? It's on the news. Tim's escape from jail, one of the guards confessed. He told the Watchers that Tim had a friend help him. They're searching for both of them right now. Oh, wow. I gotta get out of here. Did you help him escape? Of course I did. He's my friend. I, I can't... I can't believe this. Paul, do you know what you've done? They're going to be suspecting all of us now, not just you, but everyone associated with you. That means me, Paul. I told you not to get involved with these nutcase Christians, but you didn't listen to me, and now look at the mess you're in. I just need to lay low for a while and let this blow over. Man, there's so much stuff in my head right now, I don't know what's going on. You should just tell them where Tim is. They might go easy on you if you just turn him in. I can't do that. Who knows what they're going to do to him? You better start worrying about what they'll do to you and me. I'm going to the celebration. It's it's going to start in a little bit. It's safer for me to be seen there than with you. Celebration? What celebration? The war is over. Therion got the Israelis and the Muslims to sign a ceasefire and start a formal peace process. Peace process? Yeah. Seven years from now, there will finally be a complete peace in the Middle East. They've already agreed to let the Israelis rebuild their temple as part of the deal. Seven years? It's true. He was right. The Bible it, it's, it's true. <sighs> I'm leaving, Paul. Do the right thing. Go tell them where Tim is before you ruin things for all of us. 